Hello and welcome to Tutor Pipes Tutorials for Skype. In this tutorial we're going to go over the Skype workspace or the Skype interface as it's called. And by the end you should have intermediate knowledge working your way around the different sections of the Skype interface. The workspace for Skype is very well organized and it's very easy to move from one section to the next. Okay, it's also very easy to activate any feature uh, associated with Skype simply by using the menu at the top. Okay, and that's the first section that we're going to go over. All right, I'm not going to go over it into too much detail. Uh, you can literally do that by trial and error, or uh, simply by um, you know just looking at exactly what the function does. Okay, and if we just let's say chats for example start group chat start public chat so pretty much everything is self-explanatory as far as what you want to do okay uh, the next section here is our mood and profile and we can say whether or not we want to be in or we want to be out you know whether it's online or offline and we want to see we uh, we do not want people to see us even though we are online so we'll choose invisible uh, do not disturb almost the same thing as an instant messenger service okay and here are just a couple of advertisements and this will change so this might be different uh, on your interface okay and right here we have the different tabs we have a uh, we have our history which is um, exactly who we called and what the conversation was if it's uh, if it's typed in other words if you're just if you're not using the uh, the voice service but just the instant messenger service you can also see the history the chat history okay but this is our contacts page and all of our contacts will appear in this section okay and call phones tab and live and Skype find okay exactly what these do is beyond the scope of this tutorial but I just want you to uh, to see exactly what's inside here so you you know just get a basic idea of what is involved here Okay, we'll go back to our contacts and we can also uh, type in our phone number we could type in the location of, of where we are at we can also make the call or disconnect the call and same thing as our um, our availability it's the same thing down here and this tells you uh, what uh, what of what setting you have your availability on and it also tells you how many people are online currently okay and there are some more features that you can use but uh, by now you should have intermediate knowledge with uh, the Skype workspace so you should be able to find your or work your way around uh, the interface without a problem okay so thank you very much for watching Tutor Pipes tutorials